Hey, I'm here with Paul from Rainbird. How's it going today, Paul? Doing great, thank you. So tell me about this CPS Spring Fling. How long have y'all been doing this? Uh, as, long, as long back as I can remember. It's been a long, long time. CPS has established a tradition here in the Rockies. Uh, it's uh, arguably one of the second or third largest events that we do here in the Rocky region. And um, it, it's clear today with over 1,600 registrants that it's a success. At Sprinkler Warehouse, we sell a ton of Rainbird stuff. We love your stuff. So uh, tell us all the various things that Rainbird makes. Uh, controllers is certainly a place to start. Right now, everything is on your phone. So Link Wi-Fi is our, our residential uh, controller interface with your phone. Uh, we also can use cellular um, communication cartridges for our larger commercial controllers. So it's probably a great place to start. But from there, we have 4,000 products all the way down to sprinkler heads. Uh, valves, um, every type of head you need, every type of nozzle. Um, there's a, a very, very wide range uh, of product at Rainbird. Tell me a little bit more about your controllers and you were talking about the cellular cartridges for the commercial controllers. I want to know more about that. Uh, we would like to be able to access our, our, our everyday life from our phone, whether for, for better or for worse. And so with these cellular controllers, you can be anywhere on, in the world and uh, interact with the controller as long as that controller has a cellular signal. Anything that you can do at the controller, you can do at your phone, your laptop, um, your, your tablet, um, uh, including very complex programming, even bringing in evapotranspiration rates. So I think more and more you're seeing the industry change their programming based on the weather, and that's probably one of the, le one of the leading features that we have. So I've read a little bit about evapotranspiration, but I don't know very much. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, you know, it's two words smashed into one. So evaporation and transpiration, uh, it's water evaporating from the soil surf surface and water transpiring through the leaf blades of all plant material. Um, uh, every type of plant has a certain ET rate and we're trying to match that exact plant's ET rate with irrigation, not more, not less. We want everything to look fantastic out there, but we don't want to overwater. So we can be very specific with our programming and put in exactly what type of plant we have and exactly what conditions that plant is living in at that exact site. That's amazing. I didn't know it got that specific. Very, very specific. So I know a lot of people are looking for earth-friendly solutions. In what way is Rainbird earth-friendly? Saving water is number one. Uh, I think uh, it, there, there, it may not feel like there's an unlimited supply of water, but there is an, a limited supply of fresh potable water. Um, if we use less of that, that's us as an irrigation industry doing our part. That's our goal, the intelligent use of water. Excellent. Uh, also to jump on something else, I know rotary nozzles are becoming more popular. So tell me what you know about rotary nozzles. Yeah, rotary nozzles, the fingers in the landscape. So we, we also have a, a full line of rotary nozzles. Uh, we have a, a 0.6 precip rate, which is kind of a happy medium in the industry. So we can we can water more quickly, uh, more quickly than our competitors. Um, and our distribution uniformity is north of 70%. So it meets all of the, the Mwilo regulations in California, for example. Uh, hand adjustable, it's kind of inherent that a um, rotary nozzle will clog at some point in time, pull to flush ours, start over. Excellent. So then also, uh, what, pressure regulated uh, stems are important in certain states? Pressure regulated everything is extremely important. Even your home doesn't need to have 100 PSI hitting their uh, dishwasher. So it's the same with irrigation. 50, 60, 70, 80 PSI, that's where we want to be. For spray heads, even lower at 30 PSI. In Colorado, it's regulated, as you alluded to. So in Colorado, every single spray head has to be pressure regulated. Excellent, and so Rainbird's an industry leader in all that stuff. Uh, certainly appreciate what y'all are doing. I want to thank you for your time, man. I sure appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff, and they'll get you squared away. Get everything you need for that next landscape project from Sprinkler Warehouse, a proud member of the Heritage Landscape Supply Group. Your success is our heritage. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction.